I would have gone that way. You know, had a baseball coach approached me in that alley, I would have played baseball. Had, you know, I joke, had a ballerina troupe been across the street, I could have been the greatest dancer on earth. You don't want to see me dance, trust me. <laughs> but it, it's true. I mean, I honestly, I, young people want to be seen. They, they are smart. They want agency just like we do as human beings. Uh, and I think that we're making mistakes by, by not amplifying their passions. Uh, instead, you know, instead of, I mean, let's face it, they live in a, in a kind of uh, a dictatorship until then they leave the house, right? It's our rules as parents. They have to, you know, be in at a certain time, you know, follow certain standards, whatever. Um, and I think to play on, you know, to riff on what Nora said, if we can learn to be cautiously vulnerable with our children and, you know, explain to them we're not perfect and tell them why, uh, then maybe we can expect the same from them. But if we don't ever tell them that, you know, because they think we're perfect, they're always trying to live up or be better than us. And, and you know, we're all dealing with something that nobody knows about, every single person. Uh, and I think maybe it's time that we start having those more vulnerable conversations with the people that we love, um, you know, with, with less repercussion uh, so that we can expect them to come to us when they really have those questions or that, or that confusion. Yeah, that is.